Okay, we're going to actually take a look at some probabilities now. In the previous video, we used Venn diagrams and ideas about Venn diagrams to talk about um, things that are mutually exclusive versus things that are inclusive. And how do you figure out like how many things there are if you have you know, overlap? Okay, well this is going to be very, very similar, but this is a probability idea. Okay, now this is actually like taken from your book because it's a pretty good example. So if you want to look on page 653, this is kind of the same idea as that. I'm just going to kind of explain it in a maybe slightly different way with the diagrams and try to connect it a little bit more to Venn diagrams. But that's a, a good page to reference. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're talking about rolling a six-sided die, right? So when you roll dice, dice is plural, that means more than one. Um, and when a singular like number cube is called a die. So if you don't know that, you can call it a number cube, and in your book they call it like a six-sided number cube. But we're talking about like rolling dice, but just one. Okay. Um, what we have to remember if we're going to talk about probability is this formula. Okay, this is like the theoretical probability. So we have we we talked about um, experimental probability. This is theoretical. Okay. So what we do is we figure out, if we want to find the probability of something happening, we have to figure out the number of ways where that thing can happen over the number of outcomes that could possibly happen for each you know, trial or whatever it happens to be. Okay? So this is a formula we're going to draw on. This is old. This came from 10.1. We talked about probabilities. So we got a couple different things. What we're talking about now is we're talking about what's the probability of something, one or some other event happening. So it's not just the probability of an event A, it's the probability of an event A or an event B. Okay, so this is like A or B. So we're going to come up with a new formula um, by looking at these examples. Okay, in the first example here, I want the probability of an even number or a 3. Okay, now if you think about getting an even number or a 3, those things are mutually exclusive. They can't happen at the same time because 3 is odd. And so this right here... Mutually exclusive. There's no overlap between them. So these are the ways that I can get an even. These are the ways that I can roll a three. They don't overlap. Okay, so let's look at the probability of each separately. The probability of getting an even, well, there's three ways to get an even. So P even is the number of outcomes where I can get an even, which there are three, divided by the total number of outcomes in the sample space. Well, for rolling a die, there are six possible options, one through six. So there's three ways to get an even over six possible options. Okay? We'll simplify that in a minute. Okay, what's the probability of getting a three? Well, there's only one way to get a three, so there's one outcome where we get a three out of six possible outcomes in the sample space. Okay? So what's the probability of getting an even number or getting a three? Well, there's four ways to get an even or a three, right? out of six possible ways. So this is pretty basic, right? 3 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is 4 over 6, or 2 thirds, when we simplify. Okay. So pretty much in this case, when we have um, mutually exclusive, the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B. So this is our formula here for, for mutually exclusive. So the probability of event A or event B happening is equal to the probability of A happening plus the probability of B happening. Okay, just like this, right? The probability of one or the other is this one plus this one. Now we have it kind of backwards, but um, yeah, this is how we find the probability of some, some or. Okay, now what we gotta keep in mind, this can be a little confusing. We talked about the fundamental counting principle, and in the fundamental counting principle, we multiplied numbers. Right? So how is that different than this? Well, in the fundamental counting principle, we had separate events. Right? The, probability, the ways for an event to happen plus times the number of ways for the other events to happen is the number of ways for them to, like, to both happen. But in that case, there's like two different trials. So in this case, we're only rolling the die one time. It's not like the probability of rolling an even and then rolling another die and the probability of rolling an odd or a three, excuse me. It's the probability in one roll. So it's not, even though we're talking about like two different events, kind of, we're really only talking about one trial or one roll of the dice. 
So that's why it's different than the fundamental counting principle, because if we were talking about the fundamental counting principle, we'd be talking about rolling the dice more than one, or the die more than one time. This we're just rolling the die one time, and we want to find the probability of a couple, one, or, one or more options, basically. Okay? So it's still one trial, it's just the number of things we're looking for is, we're increasing. Okay, let's look at this one, okay? So probability of an even or a four. Okay, well, four, notice, is an even number as well. So these are actually inclusive. Right, there's some overlap. So there's some stuff that we gotta take into account. So let's take a look here. The number of ways I can get an even, there's three of those, right? There's still two, four, and six. So there's three options out of six possible options when I roll the die, okay? The number of ways I can roll a four, there's still one of those, right, out of six. But if I add those together, I'm gonna get four out of six again. But let's think of the, pro the, pro uh, the probability of rolling an even or a four. How many ways are there to roll an even or a four? Well, there's one, two, or three. Right? There's only three different options here. So you don't want to count four twice. You don't want to count four as an even and four as a four. That's, that's like the same outcome. You're counting it too many times. So what we, what we want here is we don't want to get uh, four out of six. We want to get three out of six. So we have to do something else to this to figure out what's going on. So we have the probability, again, the number of ways to get an even is three, the number of ways to get a four is one, but I don't wanna double count that four, right? I've counted, this includes a four, and this also includes the four. So if I add them together and I get four options, that's too many options, because getting a four is only one option. So what I have to do here is I'm gonna add these together, but then I have to put something else right here. I have to subtract the probability of both happening at the same time, or the probability of the overlap. So what we gotta subtract out is like the, the middle piece here, right? So it's the probability of A and B happening at the same time, or so the probability of um, four is the way that they can both happen at the same time. Okay, so we have to subtract out some of the, the numbers here, or we're going to get the wrong thing. So the probability of A or B, this is in general now, general formula, when we have inclusive, is you have to do the probability of A plus the probability of B, right, just like we had up here, but then we have to subtract the probability that they're both happening at the same time, or essentially the overlap, the overlapping options. Because this right here, this is even and four, okay? So probability that you get an even and four, which is basically, you know, this guy right here. So let's, let's change the notation up here. So this would be uh, minus the probability of even and four. That equals the probability of even or four. Okay, so you gotta subtract the overlap. If you don't subtract the overlap or, or the ways for them to both happen at the same time, then you're counting the same thing more than once and you're getting the wrong number of outcomes. So again, um, you don't wanna count four twice. You don't wanna count it as an even and as a, a separate thing. There's only three options here. Three out of six, not, not four out of six. Okay, so that, this, is the, uh, this is the formula if you want probability of A or B. This is the formula when we're mutually exclusive or there's no overlap. This is the formula when you are inclusive. You gotta subtract that middle part.